Welcome to our latest video, Reporting Your Foreign Trust, Forms 3520 and 3520A. As you know, the IRS wants to know everything you do, especially when it comes to international income and assets, and foreign trusts are no exception. So in this video, we're gonna talk about what you need to do to report your foreign trust. So many people go out, they set up a foreign trust, thinking this is a great asset protection tool, and it is. I've been helping people set up foreign trusts for over 20 years, but I also make sure that they stay in compliance, and that's something that not all advisors do. So, like I said, the IRS wants to know about your foreign trust, and there's a couple of forms, forms 3520 and 3520A, that you need to be familiar with and need to make sure that get filed if you have a foreign trust or receive distributions from a foreign trust. So we're gonna get into it. So first, we're gonna talk about form 3520. U.S. persons, citizens, residents, and entities must file form 3520 if they are treated as the owner of any of the assets of a foreign trust under the grantor trust rules. A U.S. person is generally treated as the owner of assets transferred to a foreign trust that either has or can have U.S. beneficiaries. If you transfer assets to a foreign trust and that trust can have U.S. beneficiaries, then you are considered the owner of those assets that you transferred to the trust and you're required to pay income tax on any income they generate. For as long as those assets are in the trust, you need to be filing Form 3520. Now, the other thing I wanna talk about is this concept of can have US beneficiaries because the IRS construes this very broadly, right? Let's say, for example, that you have a foreign trust that you transferred assets to, you're a US person, and the trust specifically states that the trust cannot distribute to US beneficiaries. You would think that the trust cannot have US beneficiaries and therefore you don't need to file Form 3520. Wrong. If the trust could be amended, for example, to allow for US beneficiaries, the IRS will interpret this as the trust being allowed to have US beneficiaries and therefore you would be considered the owner of the assets that you transferred to this trust and would need to file Form 3528. If you transferred assets to a foreign trust and the trust can have U.S. beneficiaries, you need to file Form 3520 as long as those assets are in that trust. If you transferred any money or property to a foreign trust, you need to file Form 3520. If you receive a distribution from a foreign trust, you need to file Form 3520. Now, there's a couple other scenarios where you need to file Form 3520. If you receive gifts from a non-resident alien totaling more than 100,000 during the year or distribution from a foreign estate of more than 100,000 during the year, then you need to file Form 3520. Or if you receive gifts of more than $15,102 from a foreign corporation or partnership, you need to file Form 3520. Penalties for failure to file 3520, like all international forms, are ridiculous. It's 10,000 or the greater of 35% of the value of the property you transferred to the trust or 35% of the value of the distributions you receive from the foreign trust. Filing Form 3520 is very, very important. If you like our content, please don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel by clicking that subscribe button. We really appreciate it. And for more strategic tips on international tax and wealth planning, subscribe to our email list and follow us on LinkedIn. Links are below. Now we're gonna move on to the next form, Form 3520A. So foreign trusts with U.S. owners are required to file Form 3528. If you remember, if you're a U.S. person who transferred assets or property or cash to a foreign trust that can have a U.S. beneficiary, then you are considered the owner of the assets that you transferred to the trust as long as those assets remain in the trust. In that case, you would need to file Form 3520, but the foreign trust itself, not you, but the foreign trust needs to file Form 3528, and this would normally be done by the trustee. They're the ones that are required to do it. But usually when you have a foreign trust, it means you have a foreign trustee. And the foreign trustees almost never do this. So the IRS says it's your responsibility as the owner of the foreign trust to make sure that this gets filed. So even though it's the trustee that's prepare it and file it, if they don't do it, which they almost never do, then it's you who are required to do it as the owner. Again, like with everything, penalties for 3520A are the greater of $10,000 or 5% of the assets owned 
by the US person. You know, we've been advising clients with respect to foreign trusts for a long time. We help clients set them up, restructure them. We do a lot of work with foreign trusts. And we also make sure that our clients stay in compliance by reporting income from foreign trusts properly, by making sure that they file forms 3520 and 3520A. So if you have any questions about a foreign trust, how to stay in compliance with the IRS reporting requirements, or if you need to get back into compliance in the event you're not in compliance, we can help. Just reach out to us, shoot us an email at info at esquiregroup.com or visit us on the web at www.esquiregroup.com. Thank you.